Hello YouTube, Mewtwo here with a package and pickups video right on the heel of my last one but that's because uh, the Legend of Zelda 25th Anniversary 3DS came out today or well yesterday probably by the time this video gets up and I hemmed and hawed over picking this up I have an Aqua 3DS do I need another one? No, not really I don't really play the Aqua 3DS all that much so you have to question why pick it up well ultimately I'm a Zelda fan and a collector and this is a collector's item so why not and if you look at it this isn't going to be an unboxing so if, if you're looking for an unboxing I guess <laughs> there's many making the rounds on YouTube that's the place to be but this is just my kind of quick impression of a of a pickup but they, it does look nice the, the console itself it's basically just a black uh, 3DS with some Zelda iconography on the on the lid and a golden slider and then the box itself is quite nice that the, the system came in it's very understated but that's not too bad in this case you know it, it has the gold 25th anniversary logo and all this, this the, the light is shining on the box there is actually a light in that spot shining anyway um, and it comes with uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D the gold box version but I already have that because I pre-ordered the game earlier in the year so not exactly new content which makes it easier to leave this um, factory fresh so to speak and the box is fairly much in keeping with um, the, the normal 3DS release the only difference is of course as I said the, the contents have changed by one item and you got the Zelda logos on the side there now very understated the Legend of Zelda 25th anniversary limited edition writing at the top so it's, it's a nice looking box and a nice looking system as I said I hemmed and hawed because I had hoped when I got my 3DS that Nintendo were going to do a Zelda bundle or a Zelda console and when Ocarina of Time came and went with no sign of any announcement I was like damn it I'll pick it up because I wanted to play it but sure enough a few months later here we are with the actual 25th anniversary bundle ah uh, well I guess Nintendo won again because now I have two but just I'll do a comparison then to the original the box is of course a bit bigger no doubt to incom accommodate the, uh, the the new or the Zelda 3DS game bundle bundled in and oh, that's not the best way to compare them as you can see that way it's it's quite a bit um, thinner but no doubt that's to fit in the game case I'm assuming they put the case in it'd be nice if they did anyway because it's got the, the gold case but back in the day when you had console bundles you typically found that they did not put the game case in they might just put the cartridge in the manual and that was something that quite annoyed me when I was younger and I've had to set out to rectify or I did when I was, when I was younger I, I, it always bugged me that I didn't have a case for my game I'll go into that in, in more detail in another video as it's well it's not related to Zelda so yeah please to get it into the collection as as just a collector's item my current 3DS though sadly hasn't seen too much love it's it got turned on to play Ocarina of Time a bit of street pass and um, that was it for a long time then of course Nintendo gave away a boatload of free games so I mean I've got about 20 odd or well no not 20 because I haven't given the second half of those free games but eventually I'll have 20 plus games and I'll have only bought Zelda <laughs> and Street Fighter but that came free with my other bundle pretty much so lots of copies of Zelda I played a bit of the, the new Four Swords Adventures game it was pretty good not as good as your typical Zelda game in my opinion probably didn't help that I was I should probably take that out of the way so you can see the box but probably didn't help that I was playing in one player but you know for free you definitely can't complain and finally then just to kind of tack on uh, a package that arrived you could say it's a package that arrived in the post it arrived finally I think this is like a week late because I've seen other people 
you know, on YouTube with it for well over a week. And of course, Mr. Posty decided to break the spine again, as is his way. But it's a uh, the latest issue of Retro Gamer, a magazine that just never really puts a foot wrong. It always great content, in my opinion. And even if you're not particularly interested in the games, like I know some people might not be so into Final Fantasy VII or whatever. Generally, I find the articles interesting, and I do quite like Final Fantasy VII, even if I don't like um. RPGs all that much and apparently they got some sort of world exclusive on Final Fantasy 7 which uh, It's hard to have a world exclusive on it. It's it's been out for over a decade, so <laughs> I assume they mean that they've got like an interview with the director and that's it. That's the exclusive But there's also some other cool stuff like the Revenge of Shinobi uh, article and Kid Chameleon and Top 25 C64 games, so looks like some good reading. You can't go wrong with Retro Gamer, even if I am way, way, way behind in my Retro Gamer reading. As I said before, Retro Gamer is retro when I get to it, that's for damn sure. And yeah, this, this Shinobi article looks pretty nice. I really like the way they've got the, the sprites interspersed with all the text, it looks pretty cool. Looking forward to reading that particular article. It's a great game, Revenge of Shinobi. So, there we have it, just a couple of little bits, probably rambled on more than I intended to actually, and spent a lot more than I had intended to. The 3DS, which I forgot to mention, I bought it in-game, I uh, had a pre-order there, and uh, I used my game points that I had on my card, which I can't remember how much I had, so the console came to 180, but I think I might have had a tenner in-game in credit. So it's probably 190 all told, uh, which I is a little less than I was expecting because I thought it'd be up on 200. And when you think about it, like six months ago, the three months less than six months ago, the the 3DS was selling for 270 in some shops over here on its own. I seen it for 280 at one point. That's quite the price, you know, collapse, especially when you consider you get one of the top tier games with it. Well, that's good when you want to buy duplicate consoles not to use. <laughs> anyway, we best leave it there. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll be back with some more content soon.